In this video, we're going to place a lighting device, create and apply a gobo texture, and then import our exhibit booth into the main project file. Let's use the lighting instrument and focus point tools to place a lighting device on top of the upper rear truss and then focus it on the floor. Activate the lighting instrument tool in the spotlight tool set. In the toolbar, click on the uh, instrument symbol pop-up menu. Under instrument symbols.vwx, choose the ETC source 4 36 degree symbol. Move your cursor over the front center of the rear truss. Click once, then move your cursor down vertically and click a second time to place the lighting device. Switch to a right isometric view. You'll notice that the lighting device is sitting on the floor. In the object info palette, adjust the Z height to 10 feet 8 inches. Now let's adjust the 3D orientation of this lighting device so that it is mounted on top of the truss. Scroll down in the Object Info Palette and check the Set 3D Orientation option. Set the Y rotation to 180 degrees. Next, activate the Focus Point tool in the Spotlight tool set and click once on the center of the floor to place a focus point. Name the focus point Booth-0. Set the height to 1 inch and click OK. In the Object Info Palette, Set the focus point shape to standard 2D. Now right click or control click on the lighting device and choose focus instruments. Choose booth-0 and click OK. Now we will use the create gobo texture command from the spotlight menu uh, to create a gobo texture for our light. You will need the uh, VW logo image file from the download section located below the video. Go to the Spotlight menu, and under Visualization, choose Create Gobo Texture. Name the Gobo Texture VW Gobo, and then click the Edit Texture button. Choose Import an Image File, and click OK. Navigate to the VW Logo Image File, and click Open. Click OK in the Edit Texture dialog to accept the default settings, and click OK again. In the resource browser, you will find the new VW Gobo Texture. Next, we will assign the Gobo Texture to our lighting device. Select the lighting device and click on the Edit button in the Object Info Palette. In the Lighting Device dialog, switch to the Light Information tab. Across from Gobo 1, click the Git Resource button. Now in the Import External Resource dialog, click on the Resource thumbnail and choose the VW Gobo Texture. Click OK and then OK again. Next we need to turn on the lighting device and render in a RenderWorks mode. Right click or control click on the lighting device and choose Turn On. Now render in Final Quality RenderWorks. The VW Gobo Texture will appear on the floor when the render finishes. Finally we'll place all of the exhibit booth objects into a symbol and then place the symbol in the main project file. Start by going back to a top plan view. Now go to the edit menu and choose select all. Go to modify, create symbol, name the symbol booth, click OK, and then OK again. We now have a booth symbol that can be accessed through the resource browser. Now let's go ahead and import the booth symbol into the main project file and place the booth in the Paris foyer. First, we will need to go back to the main project file. Go to the File menu and choose Open. Navigate to your project file or open the main project file found in the download section below the video. In the resource browser, the Files pop-up menu should display the name of the file with the exhibit booth. If it does not, click on the menu and then choose the file from the list. Scroll down and locate the booth symbol. Right click or control click on the booth symbol and choose import. Click OK in the import symbols dialog. Then in the resource name conflict dialog, choose do not import this texture and click OK. Now click on the home icon in the resource browser to switch to the active file. If you scroll down, you will see the booth symbol is now available. Before we place the booth, Let's close a couple of the doors in the foyer. Select the middle and right doors in the foyer. 
In the Object Info palette, under Visualization, uncheck Show 3D Open and set the angle to 0 degrees. Double click on the booth symbol in the resource browser. Now place the booth as shown. Switch to a left isometric view, render in OpenGL, and use the flyover tool to center your view over the booth. You will notice that the booth is sitting below the surface of the foyer slab. So with the booth selected, set the Z height to two inches in the object info palette. Next, we need to convert this symbol to a group so we can properly focus the lighting device in the new file. Go to the modify menu, then under convert, choose convert to group. Then choose don't convert sub objects to groups and click OK. Finally, we need to reassign the focus point for the booth lighting device. Double click on the booth group, right click or control click on the lighting device, choose focus instruments, select booth dash one and click OK. Now click exit group. Let's render in Final Quality RenderWorks to view the changes. Switch back to a top plan view when finished.